As the story beings, a voice came that tells us that there is nothing in the start no grass, no land, no water, no sky, no wind nothing till the fire came and fills all the gaps, and then the giant comes. The proud giant was killed and from his bones, flesh, and brain this earthy world came into existence. As the story begins Eivor a child is at a feast and everybody is celebrating and enjoying themselves. Eivor is the son of Jarl who is a chieftain. During this feast, Eivor's parents ask him the pledge with the king to remain loyal to him as his forefathers always remain loyal to the king. Eivor is very happy to do this and the king accepts his pledge wholeheartedly. But then suddenly the feast is disturbed as a rogue Viking warlord attack them. This fights results in the destruction of the whole village of Eivor and they also execute his beloved father. Eivor is very heartbroken about this as they always want to die in war so that they can secure their place in Valhalla. After seeing all this he manages to escape from there but in rush, he falls into an ice-covered lake. As he falls there he is attacked by wolves but he fought with that creature bravely and manages to escape. He tries at a young age to fight against Kjoth but fails and the king decides to kill him luckily he manages to escape from there. All this effort of Eivor is not in vain as he manages to get his father's axe from King Kjoth, with the help of Dag. As he holds his father's axe he has a vision in which he saw Odin and a wolf. He feels blessed to have it. After getting it he sails back to his home, Thornburg. As he reached there Styrbjorn told Eivor that if he remains so obsessed with revenge this will result in a war and this will cause huge destruction as they don't have enough men to win this war. After listening to Styrbjorn, Eivor decides to go meet with Vaka the seer. She gives him a mixer which is a kind of hallucinogenic broth that caused him to have a vision. But this time he saw Sigurd with his one arm missing and then a giant wolf attacks them. He can't understand the meaning of what he saw but Vaka told him that in the future there will be trail with him. After meeting with Vaka Eivor returns where the next day Sigurd son of Styrbjorn returns from a twenty year long war. He has a lot of wealth with him along with this he also has Bossom and Hitham who are foreigners. They introduce them with a new weapon called a blade device. They also told them about a clan called Hidden Ones who are involved in worldwide assassinations. The next morning Eivor and Sigurd decide that they will take revenge on Kjoft, Styrbjorn tries to stop them but they didn't listen to him. With all their power and experience Sigurd have they attack the fort of Kjoft and successfully defeats him. Bossom and Hitham told them that they travel all the way long to Norway as they also want to kill Kjoft. As he is a member of the Order, the organization works as Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey. But it is evident that Eivor and Sigurd succeed because of King Harald who pledges to help the Styrbjorn. However when Sigurd gets the news that he is not going to be the king of Norway, his heart breaks and he along with Eivor decides to sail for England. They decide to write their fate, and Bossom and Hitham also join them on their voyage. As Eivor and Sigurd reach England they make a small settlement in the kingdom of Mercia. Eivor wants to expand this settlement and bring more friends so that they can track down the order. They both plan to make an alliance with other Danes and Saxons in this region so that they will become stronger. For this purpose, they help Ragaurnesens, who lives in the north of Mercia. As Ragaurnesens wants Seowulf to become king so that he can rule on both Saxons and Danes equally. They all succeed in their mission and King's son Kilbert joins Ravensthorpe so that he can learn diplomacy and other cultures. Meanwhile, Mercia's new leadership gets time for making new settlements. When they reach to south, Eivor decides to help the summer army of Danes which is under Soma so that they can retake Grantbridge. This results in kicking out the Saxons who are led by Wigmund. They also get to know the spy's identity, it is advisor Galen who Eivor accuses after doing an investigation. All this releases Lif and Brina from the wrong accusation but they decide not to join the crew. After this Eivor travels to Easy Anglia so that he can confront a clan of rogue Danes. But when he reaches there he finds out that the area is in really poor shape and there is no king to guide them. It is because King Oswald is busy gaining respect among his Danes allies. So Eivor helps and back up Oswald so that he can gain respect among Danes. After this Eivor reaches London and tries to establish allies there. The Reeves, Stowe, and Irk failed in their attempts to make peace as the Order members upset them. So Eivor decides to investigate that area as a result of which he came to know the murderers of the chief and eliminates the four persons from the Order. This causes a friendship alliance with the Reeves of London. So Eivor announces a celebration among people for the victories and alliances they developed in this area. Hytham also admires Eivor for his efforts. Vaka becomes so pleased that he offered Eivor another broth of hallucinations that will help him to reach Asgard. Eivor experiences a vision in which Odin attempts to avert the Ragnarok and Aesir and Odin drinks a magical potion that will ensure that their soul will be reincarnated in human form in a new body. After this Havi is seen travelling to Jotunheim and tries to get meat as that he can lives on as a human after Ragnarok. Eivor and he is linked somehow, however, this confusion concludes with the idea that Eivor is the reincarnation of Odin himself.
while all events happening in England are mirror images of what happened in Asgard and Jotunheim. Meanwhile, in Oxenfordshire, Sigurd and Basim are trying their best to establish an alliance but the people who used to live there don't have the capabilities to impress Eivor. When Eivor gets to know all about this he looks into this matter deeply but doesn't get to know why Sigurd is so dependent on Basim. They both are interested in folk due to some kind of future prophecy. So Eivor gets so disturbed by the change in behavior of Sigurd. Somehow Basim convinced Sigurd that one strange artifact will help him to fulfill his dream to become the only ruler of the whole of England. But this artifact is in the processions of Fulk who is a mad woman. This somehow explains Sigurd's interest in Basim. The discovery of the artifact which is stolen from the place Fulk has hidden creates a mess involving everyone. Eivor is not much happy with Sigurd and his distractions but he now knows his feelings. Due to all this, they are involved in an argument and it becomes intense when Eivor knows Sigurd's intentions to betray his pledge to Geodric. It's their Saxon link that they are helping to pacify Oxenford Sire and will remove Edwin. Their union works as they weaken Ian's grip on the area and win her castle. They then decided to meet Alfred the Great so they can negotiate the future of Mercia. During their conversation, they reach the trading of personals. The exchange of their best warriors results in Sigurd joining Alfred under Falk's watch. As per Falk's advice, Alfred chooses Sigurd as he is considered a dangerous man who believes that he is a born god. So that there are chances that he can betray them. Soon it is revealed that Falk is part of the Order of Ancients. By her trick, she deceives them all and made Sigurd a prisoner of Alfred. Eivor now returns to Ravensthorpe and decides to visit Ranvi so that they can make a new plan. Young Kilbert and Seowulf plan to test their diplomacy skills in Syrapesire. So that he and Ivar can negotiate with the Britons led by King Rodri to the west. Rodri is not pleased as his brother is in captivity by Danes and he wants him to be free. But there erupts a conflict when Ivar slits Rodri's brother's throat. After all this Eivor decides to beat Rodri's man so that he can bring peace to the region and Kilbert will become Eildorman of the Sire. But in a fight, Kilbert gets injured as he is not enough capable to face Rodri's assassins. Eivor along with Ivar takes revenge by capturing Rodri's castle and killing him. However, after all this Ivar told Eivor that it is he who killed Kilbert and wants to kill him too so that his name will be remembered in history people sang his name for centuries as he became the most powerful Viking of all time. With all this known Eivor defeats Ivar and makes his way return to Uba and the bishop announced him as Eildorman in Kilbert's place. When came back to Ravensthorpe, Eivor decides to visit the next regions. But he decides to find Basim and plot a rescue mission for Sigurd. As he proceeds Dag came in opposition to him as he is angry that Eivor and Sigurd are neglecting Ravensthorpe. So decides that he will not help Eivor. But all this ends up in an assault on Ruisister supported by Eivor's new allies and also including Girdrick. Later Fulk kills Cinebert and Eivor confronts her about Sigurd but she doesn't tell anything. She also tries to kill Eivor and Basim and both of them manage to escape from there and find her in Canterbury. Eivor then reaches Lincolnshire where he meets with a lord named Hunwald who is trying to establish good repute with his father he asks Eivor to protect him in exchange he will give him an alliance. The situation becomes tense when his father disappears but Eivor soon finds that the person who is responsible for his father's disappearance wants him killed. So Hunwald decides to become an Eildorman himself. The bishop is the person behind all this as he is also a member of the Order of the Ancient. Eivor now moves towards Suthsex to plan a siege to Portster Castle and will attempt to free Sigurd. For this, he meets with Basim and a Dane leader named Guthrum as they have enough forces to siege the castle. As they proceed Fulk came but they managed to defeat her along with her army. But this weakens the forces of Eivor. But with his determination, he manages to reach Sigurd and finds out that Fulk has tortured him so badly that he is about to die. As he saw this he rages with anger and run after Falk so he can kill her but just before her death, she told her that she poisoned Sigurd's mind with something powerful. Sigurd returns to Ravensthorpe along with Eivor. He became more ambitious and wants to fulfill his destiny. But due to this, a misunderstanding is created between both of them, and both can't able to clear it. Eivir decides to leave him in peace as he passes through many things so his mind is confused now and prepares for another quest in the nearby area. So he reaches Northumberland where Halfdan is at war with the Picts so he wants Eivor to work for him. So he launches a quest to see the Far Avid loyalty. This quest ends up with Halfdan joining Far Avid and Evir plan to make a siege against Picts. But during the celebration of their victory someone poisoned the Halfdan. This creates rage among his people and causes a fight but in the end, Eivor returns to Northumberland to console him. In Eivor's upcoming quest he went to Gloucester Sire, Winchester, and Snottinghamsker where he forms many allies and help many known persons in fulfilling their aims, he also came across many hidden realities. These experiences not only increase his strength in the count of allies but also made him wiser to deal with upcoming situations.
While he was sailing after all his journey he tells Sigurd that Vaka has warned him about a great betrayal but he does not know what to do about it. When they reach land both walk up to the hill to achieve their objective but this time Sigurd kept it a secret from Eivor. They reached a cave where some strange door is present although both of them has ever been there still Sigurd knows the spell to open it. On inquiry, Sigurd told Eivor that this passage will lead them to Valhalla. As they step and they found themselves in a strange place. It looks like a tree to them maybe a tree of life. When they reach the center a machine picks them up and it seems like some sort of ancient animus. Suddenly everything changes and Avir open his eyes in a bedroom where music is playing. As he gets up and approaches further it appears that he is in Valhalla with other members of Norse mythology welcoming Asgard. People are greeting him welcome him and call him with the name of Havi. He fights with Sigurd there and Sigurd loses his arm in this fight. The next day he again opens his eyes in the same bedroom and meets with his father. But it seems that every day is repeat itself. He is very confused unless he meets with Vaka's mother who explains to him that this place is not real it is just a place to get away from the pain of real life. After knowing this he finds Sigurd and convenience him to get back. But Odin appears and has words with Ivir. They have words about his worldly success and somehow he manages to get out from there. After getting out from there Sigurd told Avir that he can't get back to England with him as he might be the source to bring betrayal for him. After all this Layla Hassan appears. It seems like Eivor is like Desmond. Meanwhile, in the present day, Rebecca Crane and Sean Hastings find the Temple of Avir and Sigurd in Norway. But it is somehow changing the magnetic power which causes disturbance in satellite systems. Layla decides to go inside the temple. As she enters she goes inside a machine which brings her to Eivor's Valhalla. The whole place is destroyed but she discovers that Basim still exists. He is the person who is sending a message to them so that they can bring Eivor's corpse from North America to his motherland. Due to the seer's strength machine is at its limit so they decide to slow down the machine. Then the reader appears and explains to them the cyclic nature of machines so with the help of this they can get into the different era of human history and can save it from many dangers and extinctions. Layla goes after Basim as he stole her things radiation might kill her but she is determined to find the solution to all this. Alethia and Basim become ready to explore new worlds. Basim tracks down Sean and Rebecca and demands an appointment with their senior, William Miles. After all this Eivor time is seen, he returns to Ravensthorpe and meets with Ranvi who tells him to take his place as a leader. He finally addresses his people with joy. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more epic videos. We will see you at the next one.